or like That's what you told me or somebody did. Oh, I love the Burmeister. Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Well, I want to thank you all for being here today. Uh, this is a... A joyous event on a gorgeous day. It's so nice that we can have this outside in this lovely Kansas weather, and it's you know not 150 degrees today. Um, I'm so delighted that we're here today to dedicate and rededicate Warner Hall. Um, we are so proud of the job that has been done here for us, and uh, we will have a tour after our comments. Um, and let me just—I have a few remarks to start with. Um, so. Warner Hall is a 46,883 square foot concrete and brick building. Of course, I'd have to get the exact number. Um, and it was constructed in 1969 and named in honor of a gift from Mr. and Mrs. Walter Warner. It was built as a residence hall with 116 beds arranged in one and two person suites with a shared restroom between them. Thanks to the generosity of Roy and Donna Applequist, who funded the entire $3.6 million renovation starting in May of 2021, uh, coordinated by Weems and Company, Weems and Company, who uh, Sid Weems is here and his helper, and uh, JGR Architects with Mark Regeer. Uh, Warner is ready to receive students in the upcoming days with all new infrastructure, HVAC, electrical, plumbing, new fixtures, windows and roof, and the building remains a residence hall with 116 beds. Uh, the brilliance, I will tell you, of Ar Arvin Hahn is we seem to have seen through, and uh, we're back around where these are the kinds of residence halls that we are building for our students. The original Warner Hall dedication was on October 18, 1970. It was a celebration like any other on campus had been since the dedication of Old Main in 1887. At that time, Arvin Hahn, who was our eighth president, joined administration and faculty in developing plans for a thorough study of the historical goals and current needs of the college. On that day, October 18, 1970, Dr. Hahn remarked, only God can make a miracle, yet many make positive change. This is our simple contention, for we firmly believe not only that it can be done, but that the process has already begun at Bethany. President Hahn went on to identify four essential elements to make a miracle. The first one is purpose, effective planning, participation, and finally, my favorite, persistence. Success at Bethany requires long range and untiring dedication to the task at hand, he said that day. Today, we continue to assess our needs and goals as we launch our strategic plan, which is the Path to Your Purpose. We will officially launch that on August the 16th. Uh, the Path to Your Purpose has three main initiatives, prioritizing success, elevating learning, and connecting with our community. Uh, we will have more details on what those mean in the coming days, but this project really is a perfect embodiment of those three initiatives. I'd like to reiterate what Arvin Hahn said on that day. Success at Bethany requires long range and untiring dedication to the task at hand. This, to me, is an infinite game, one we work hard at, but a game in which we can only be successful if we continue to work hard with purpose, planning, participation, and above all, persistence. Don't walk away from today thinking that the work is done. Instead, let this positive outcome renew your commitment and serve as the momentum needed that Han described as the untiring dedication and persistence that Bethany will always need for her success. Uh, thank you for the commitment you've already sh showed and Rokar Stokar. So um, what I'd like to do is uh, open up uh, Roy, to Roy Applequist who'd like to make a few comments. Oh, okay. Roy and Donna's apple quiz would like to make a few comments. Does anyone have permission to take pictures of this? Uh, 
Well, I'd do just it, like to just tell, explain. Uh, I just like to tell you. I just like to tell you a little bit about my connection here to Bethany College. I graduated in 1973. Um, I was in the middle of my junior year when Roy and I got married 50 years ago in January, and we were going to live in Brookville, and Roy was going to work in the South Industrial Area of Salina. So I needed to make a, a decision about which college to go to. And so it was not a hard decision because I fell in love with, with Lindsborg as a town, and I heard much about the history, the illustrious history here at Bethany, and so it was an easy decision. And uh, it was a good time to commute, gas being 25 cents a, a gallon, and I've enjoyed coming back here as a student during interterm and for concerts and games. And it's just great to live in the community where I can come and, and be at home here in Bethany. Well, you might wonder why a, a, a um, commuter student would have any interest in helping support this endeavor. So I'll let Roy tell you about that. She was able to say everything there without mentioning the word Swedish. <laughs> and we, uh, uh, Donis is half Swedish and I'm all Swedish. So uh, anyway, we, I, my great grandfather grew up just uh, a few miles north of here, or, or, where he homesteaded. So he actually knew the first president of Bethany. So we've uh, uh, we think it's really important that, that Bethany uh, be here and be part of the uh, Swedishness kind of fades out as the years go by, but, but it's still a, it's still a, a kind of an anchor, you might say, to the whole Lindsberg community and this, and this part of, uh, of, the, of the country around here. So I, uh, that had probably a lot to do with it. But, Time we started getting involved a few years ago down here more. But Bethany didn't have a whole lot of momentum at the time, and, uh, and it, it needed uh, kind of a shot in the arm. And I, there's a new dorm over there, and, and this project, and now uh, it's going to be remodeled. So, you know, that, that, that's a lot of projects. And, uh, and the, uh, the new chapel down here is. I love the architecture bit. It's really neat. Anyway, we're just uh, really proud to play a part. And we've learned to know Beth really well over the last few years. And uh, really appreciate her leadership here at Bethany. And uh, we just uh, wish the very best for uh, the new school year. And uh, hope, uh, hope the future holds a lot of good things for Bethany. It's as we keep that momentum growing. So, thank you very much. All right, Sarah's on the call. We need to thank you all for coming. Participating. <laughs> <laughs> Anything? Any other thoughts? Oh, yeah, the builder and the architect. Yeah. Got that. Yeah. And, uh, and the, uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of people involved in getting this all done. Anybody else? <laughs> Everybody. Everybody, okay. <laughs> I'm
over and say, hey.